Welcome to Dynamics with Danish. Today's topic is polymorphic lookups in Canvas app. We are going to look at polymorphic lookups like customer, owner, and regarding, which can be referencing multiple entities and hence can be of any entity type. To deal with such lookups in Power Apps, we have two specific functions, namely isType and asType, both with specific functions. isType verifies the type you are expecting and asType parses the value into that specific entity. Benefits of parsing the data into specific entity type is that you can then access its attribute. So let's get into it. To demo this functionality, I have added a gallery item that shows my activities. Now, in an activity, you have a regarding. My app will determine the regarding and then show appropriate data for that entity. For example, if it's a case, then it will show the case title. If it's an account, then it will show the account name. And if it's a contact, then it will show the contact's full name, etc. So I'm going to preview this app now. As you can see here, I'm getting a contact name, but here I'm getting an account name. If I scroll down here, I'm getting nothing. If I scroll down a little, I see that I'm able to determine the case title. As you can see, there are a bunch of empty spaces. That's because the application was not able to determine the type of entity populated on the regarding. So now let's go and look at how we have achieved this. So you go to the gallery item and then you edit the gallery items, select the component where you want to show your regarding field. And then in the text property, if you expand the code area, you can see I have written few if else statements. So the first one is is type. So in the is type, the first parameter is the value of the attribute. And then in the second parameter is the table name. In my case, it is case entity. It could be anything else. It could be accounts. It could be contacts. It could be any uh, table type. What it does is it evaluates what type you are passing and against the type you have defined in the type table. If that matches, then is type returns true. If it does not matches, it returns false. So in this case, if the regarding is of type case, then it will execute this particular statement. Now in this particular statement, because I have determined that my type is case, I can use as type function. And in this as type function, it, it does the same thing it takes the attribute value and then the type table. And then in this case, it parses it. Instead of doing an evaluation, it parses the data and then converts it into a case record. The benefit of doing this is once we have parsed the regarding into case, then we can get all the case attributes here. So in case if I do a uh, in this particular case, if I do, if I put a dot, I get my intelligence showing all the attributes from the case. And I want to select the case title in this case. Similar functionality has been implemented on accounts, on contacts, and on username. As you might have seen that there was some records which had nothing populated in here. For example, if I preview the app again, 
you would see that call alpine's key house does not have anything populated the reason for this is because the regarding is either missing or is of a different type than for what i have already coded so let's go and look at what call alpine's key house data type uh, regarding is populated as call alpine's key house and if i go here to its regarding you can see that it's of type opportunity now opportunity is not handled in my code so let's go ahead and handle that in the code so i'm going to do is type and then this item dot regarding and now i'm going to put my table as opportunity well the opportunity table does not exist in my data sets so to make this work i have to first add the opportunity in my app so i'll go to the entities and add the opportunities so now the opportunities have got added now comes the true statement if the if this is true then what my app should do so my app is going to display opportunity and here i'm going to use as type and in the as type it's again going to ask me for the attribute and then it's going to ask me for the table name which is going to be opportunity in this case now once i have this as type this would return me a record of type opportunity so if i put a period sign i get the intel sense showing all the attributes of opportunity i want to show the opportunity topic now let's go and check if it's working or not let's preview the app again and let's go to the alpine ski house and you can see that now it shows the opportunity and the opportunity topic and then the, all the other records are also populated with the opportunity topic now you can see that there are few other records which are still showing empty rows what i want to do is i want to show a default value now if you can see the if statement is logical test true then again a logical test then true and then so and so forth now once you have all if conditions and the if blocks then the end you can do is with an else so in the else i'm going to write and that's it so now if i preview the app again wherever i'm not able to parse it then it shows regarding is not parsed that's it guys thank you for watching and don't forget to click the subscribe button and leave a comment below